Hello children. Good morning everybody. How are you all? I hope you are fine. Have you written your homework? Did you study yesterday? I think you are a good student. You are studying every day. Okay, now all of you take your homework note or homework page. Take your homework page. I gave two question answers. So check your answer. First question. What is Ting doing? What is Ting doing? Ting is chasing a squirrel. The answer is Ting is chasing a squirrel. The second question. Why did he choose this day? Why did he choose this day? Because Spring is a good season to start something new. Spring is a good season to start something new. Have you checked the answer? Okay, now all of you take your English book, book page number 21. All of you take your English book, book page number 21. All of you open your book, book page number 21. All of you open your book, book page number 21. Today we are going to discuss about the poem The Robin. So here we are going to discuss about the poem The Robin. The name of poem is The Robin. The name of poem is The Robin. Is it the boys or boys names or girl? Can you guess? Are you thinking? It is not a boy. Robin is a bad. Robin is a bad. Okay, Robin is a little bird. Robin is a little bird. Where we can see the bird? We can see the bird in our garden. Yes, we can see the bird in our garden. Have we seen the Robin bird? It is loving us. It is a happy bird. Robin is a very happy bird like you. Yes, you are also very happy every day. Yes, same like the Robin is a happy bird. Okay, children, all of you listen to the poem. Okay, when father takes his spade to dig, when father takes his spade to dig, what is the meaning of spade? Spade means manvati. A garden tool used for digging. Spade is a garden tool. Spade is a garden tool. It is using for dig. It is using for dig. Okay. When father takes his spade, the robin comes along with the father. Along with father. Where does the robin come? To the garden. To the garden. When father takes his spade to take, the robin comes along with father. If you have a man, you will be the one who is 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 when the robin bird hearing the is hearing the digging sound it comes along with father it comes along with father he sits upon a little tree he sits upon a little tree there are many trees in the garden yes there are many trees in the garden so he sits upon a little twig. The robin sits upon a little twig. What is the meaning of twig? 
a small thin branch of a tree trick mean chulli chulli abadina chinna da melliya kuchiya irukum adukku dhan peru chulli a small thin branch of a tree trick means a small thin branch of a tree there, there are many branches in the tree um, big branches small branches are there but uh, the robin is sitting thin branch of a tree thin okay a small branch of a tree or chinna chulil da adena seiyuma ukkandittu irukuma and sings a little song and then it is singing a song also it is singing a song it is singing a song all the season the robin is singing a song all the season you know do you know how many seasons are there there are four seasons what are they summer winter spring and autumn season so um, it is singing all the seasons this line or if the trees are rather far if the trees are rather far he does not stay alone he does not stay alone when there is a tree nearby it sits on the twigs when there is a tree nearby it sits on the twigs when the trees are far it sits on the stones when the trees are far it sits on the stones okay marangal la pakkathil irundhuchuna adu enga irukum stick la poi ukkandrom it sits on the branch of a tree but uh, tree tree is very far means it sits on the stone stone means rock kal alana paarila be ukkandirukom he does not stay alone he does not stay alone the robin didn't like stay alone அது தனிமையே விரும்புவதில்லை பட் கம்ஸ் அப் க்ளோஸ் டு வேர் வி ஆர் அண்ட் பாப்ஸ் அப்பான் யூர் ஸ்டோன் வேர் வி ஆர் ஸ்டாண்டிங் இட் கம்ஸ் வெரி க்ளோஸ் வேர் வி ஆர் ஸ்டாண்டிங் இந்த கார்டன் இட் கம்ஸ் வெரி க்ளோஸ் அண்ட் பாப்ஸ் அப்பான் யூர் ஸ்டோன் வாட் இஸ் ஐ மீனிங் ஆஃப் பாப்ஸ் moves quickly up and down moves quickly up and down it is jumping and moving up and down up and down it is very happy bird so when we are standing in the garden it is doing like this moving quickly up and down okay children have you understood the poem okay this nice. all of you keep your finger on the line when father takes kiss pay to dig then robin comes along he sits upon a little twig and sings a little song or if the tree so rather far he does not stay alone but comes up close to where we are and walks upon a stone again when father takes kiss pay to dig then robin comes along he sits upon a little twig and sings a little song or if the tree so rather far he does not stay alone but comes up close to where we are and bows upon a stone all of you sing along with me when father take his pay to dig then robin comes along He sits upon a little twig and sings a little song or if the tree is so rather far he does not stay alone but comes up close to where we are and bows upon a stone again when father takes his pay to dig then robin comes along he sits upon a little twig and sings a little song or if the trees are rather far 
He does not stay alone, but comes up close to where we are, and barks upon a stone. Again, when father takes his spade to dig, then Robin comes along. He sits upon a little twig, and sings a little song. Or if the trees are rather far, he does not stay alone. But comes up close to where we are and bows upon a stone. Okay, children. You got to memorize this poem. It is very important. Study and write. Okay. Bandar ke? Okay, now. Okay, children. This poem written by Lawrence Alma Chadimo. This poem written by Lawrence Alma Chadimo. Okay, and the poet there. He is another one. Our pair is another Lawrence Alma Chadimo. Okay, children. All of you now take your class work note. All of you take your class work note. Have you taken everybody? Open your class work note. Now take take new page. Write the heading, the robin, the robin, leave one line, let's write new words, what is the meaning of new words, Tamil meaning, what is the meaning of new words, Tamil meaning, first one is spade, S-P-A-D-E, spade, S-P-A-D-E, spade, man vetti, ma, in, ve, itti, man vetti, Next word is Robin. R O B A N Robin. Or a Siria Paravai. Or a Siru Paravai. Or a Siria Paravai. Robin. Or Siria Paravai. Third one. Twig. T W I G. Twig. Chulli. Twig means Chulli. Chu illi. Chulli. Next. Rather. R E T H E R. Rather. Virpatudan. Or a Semining of Rather. Virpatodan. V Ru Yip Pa It Thodan Virpatodan. Next S T O N E stone. S T O N E stone. Kal. Stone means kal. Other other. Okay. Rock. Stone. Kal. What to write? Kal. Okay. Again. Spade. Manveti. Robin. Or Sriya Paravai. Twig. Chulli. Rather. Virpatodan. Stone. Kal. Stone. Kal. Okay. Children. Next. Leave one line. Okay, children. Next, leave one line. Write in word bank. Write word bank. W O R D B A N K. Word bank. First one. S P A D E. Spade. A garden. G A R D E N. Garden. T W O L. Tool. U S E D. Used. A F O R for. D A W G I N G. Digging. Spade. A garden tool used for digging. A garden tool used for digging. Second one, twig. T W I G twig. A small thin branch of a tree. Yeah. Small. S M G W L small. T H I N thin. B R A N C H branch. O F of a yeah. T R W E tree. A small thin branch of a tree. Next third one, bobs. B O B S bobs. Moves quickly up and down. M O V E S moves. Q U I C K L Y quickly. U P up A N D and D O W R N down. Moves quickly up and down. Again, spade. A garden tool used for digging. Twig. A small thin branch of a tree. Bobs moves quickly up and down. Spade, a garden tool used for digging. Twig, a small thin branch of a tree. Bars moves quickly up and down. Okay, children, write it fast. Write neatly, say and write. Choli choli eludu. Yellow Bodhi and Chilang, Memories Panirlang, Olunga, Governor C. Elizabeth.
Okay, children. Every day read your class work. Okay, children. Next. Okay, children. Next. You have to write rhyming words. Rhyming words. R H Y Y M I N G rhyming W O R D S words rhyming words R H Y Y M I N G rhyming W O R D S words rhyming words first one wall W A W L wall F A W L fall F A W L fall second one five F I V E Phi A L I V A L I V E Alive Phi Alive Phi Alive Next Ten T E N Ten A G A I N Again Ten Again Ten Again Next Go G O Go S O S O Go S O Bite B I T E Bite R I G H T right bite right bite right all of you read along with me F I V E first one is wall fall I will read wall fall wall fall second one five alive five alive ten again ten again go so Go, so, bite, right, bite, right, again, wall, fall, wall, fall, five, alive, five, alive, ten, again, ten, again, go, so, go, so, bite, right. Okay, these are called rhyming verse. What are called rhyming words? Words are said to be rhyming when they end with the same sound. When they end, when they end with the same sound. Okay, look at the words. The words end same sounds come, comes same sound in the end of the word. Word order. Kadesla every mudiyo same sound la mudiyo na. That is another rhyming verse. When they end with the same sound. When they end. End na irdila same sound. Okay. Verse are said to be rhyming. When they end with the same sound. Okay, children, next you go to write question answer. Question number one Name the two places where the robin often sit. Name the two places where the robin often sit. Name the two places where the robin often sit. The robin either sits on a twig or on a stone. The robin either sits on a twig or on a stone. Name the two places where the robin often sits. The robin either sits on a twig or on a stone. Robin when the young adikari ukandragon the robin either sit on a twig twig la lana stone mana than a genesi on a kiri ukandragon. Name the two places where the robin often sits. What are the two places? One place is twig, another place is stone. Okay, question number two. How do you think the robin chooses between the two parts? How do you think 
the robin chooses between the two spots answer is when there is a tree nearby he sits on the twigs when there is a tree nearby he sits on the twigs when trees are far he sits on the stone when there is a tree nearby he sits on the twigs when trees are far he sits on the stone this is the second question answer question number 3 where do you think robin lives where do you think robin lives i think the robin lives in the nest or on a tree in the nest or on a tree i think the robin lives in a nest on a tree sorry i think the robin lives in a nest on a tree in a nest on a tree where do you think robin lives i think the robin lives in a nest or on a in a nest on a tree i think the robin lives in a nest on a tree i think the robin lives in a nest on a tree okay so then all of you write sir Okay children have you finished your class sir ready fast all of you take your homework page all of you take your homework page today is your homework book page number 22 book page number 22 book page number 22 and memorize the poem and study the question answer memorize the poem memorize the poem and study the question answer also okay children okay all of you Okay thank you children